Big attack from Richard Carapaz. The Ecuadorian eagle now goes clear. Yellow jersey is Roglic. Pagacha looking for another stage win at the top of the Grand Colombier. Pagacha wins the stage. kilometers of racing today 156 riders at the start i think it's a big chance on breakaway and uh, i see also a lot of climbers are still already on distance on gc so they will have the freedom and they will have uh, the goal to go for stages after the second rest day, it's into the decisive third week of the Tour de France. Today's stage between La Tour de Pas and Villa de Lens, but destined for a breakaway victory. Consequently, there was an almighty rumble at the start, with the tacks coming left, right and centre. It took almost 30 kilometres for the peloton to let them go. 15 riders at the front with plenty of big names. Julian Alaphilippe, Warren Barguil, Richard Carapaz, Winner Anacona, Leonard Kemner, Nicholas Roach and Matteo Trentin, who was targeting the intermediate sprint. Pierre Rollard, who is after the polka dot jersey, set about chasing them down with Sunweb duo Tish Bunat and Casper Pedersen. It looks to me like Daniel Oss trying to go for it, but it's going to be Trentin who managed to get himself through the group of riders. Roland and co catching up to the leaders after 56 kilometres, six minutes the gap to the peloton. Pierre Roland with the red numbers on, only 400 metres to go to the top of the climb. Nico Roach talking to him. And it is coming all back together. Look at the speed as they go flying past. The gap over the pack now, 12 minutes 30. 35 kilometers to go for Quentin Pacher of the B&B team. At the foot of the day's biggest climb, the leading group of 23 riders now had an advantage of over 12 minutes. Egan Bernal, meanwhile, quickly dropped by the main peloton. Well, Comtan Pache tried his look, but he was soon caught and dropped by four riders. Carapaz, Alaphilippe, Kemner and Sebastian Reichenbach. Big attack from Richard Carapaz. The Ecuadorian eagle now goes clear. It looks like Alaphilippe has gone pop. Well, Carapaz, the winner of last year's Giro, setting a punishing tempo. He managed to shake Reichenbach, but Kemner was proving a tough nut to crack. Big attack by Leonard Kemner. Is he looking just for the points, or is he going to try and win the stage? Kemner cruising towards his maiden Tour de France stage win, opening up a comfortable lead before the final hike to the finish line. In the final phase of this stage of the Tour de France, Leonard Kamner comes around the corner and now he can celebrate a stage victory in the Tour de France. His second win ever in his career. He sits up. If anyone can, Kamner can. He wins stage 16 of the Tour de France. <laughs> Yeah, it's a big, big, big uh, relief also for the team and for me also, I can almost not imagine it. Like uh, the step I made this year is like huge and I'm so, so blessed. Great celebration by Leonard Kamner. Now we get ready to see what happens with the contenders. The young rider in the white jersey fancies a few seconds. Roglic responds, Richie Port goes with it. Lando's there, Adam Yates is as well. Lopez is next, then Pogaccia, Roglic.
A month ago today, Kemner claimed his first career victory at the Criterium de Dauphiné, and now he's a stage winner at the Tour de France. Joy for the German after being pipped by Danny Martinez on stage 13, coming home ahead of Carapace and Reichenbach. No sweat for Primoz Roglic, who remains 40 seconds clear of Tadej Pogacar overall. Tomorrow he will defend the yellow jersey as we head up to the highest point of this year's race, the formidable Col de la Lose.